Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dwayne. I got a video for that Kimball United States Army veteran and retired VA rating specialist. The VA has come out with more good information on their website as it pertains to character of discharges. Yes, CODs. So a lot of veterans did not receive an honorable discharge and some received a dishonorable but had multiple peers of service. So in today's video, I am going to break it down for you so you understand this new change as it pertains to the character of discharge. Let's get into it. So before we get into today's video, make sure you click the link in the description section and get signed up for our upcoming quarterly event on how to win your VA compensation claims. It's going to be from November 18th through the 19th, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, both days. You definitely don't want to miss it. So before I get into talking about the character discharge, the uh, new changes, I want to tell you a quick story, and I think this will help you understand what I'm going to talk about in this video. Now, I know a veteran that was told by accredited individuals, organizations, I think they were lawyers, that he could not receive benefits. They did 20 years in the military on their DD-214. It showed dishonorable. And that's, on, that's the only thing that these accredited individuals saw was dishonorable. When I looked at it, I was like, okay, it's 20 years. So we all know in order for you to re-enlist, that previous period has to be honorable. So I told the veteran, I was like, well, you're not going to, you're bar from this period of service. And even the VA notated it in the character of discharge that they sent the veteran. So what does this mean? The veteran was eligible for benefits, compensation benefits, and health care for the other honorable periods of service. Now, not all veterans have multiple periods of service. They may only have one, and that particular period may not be good enough for them to get benefits, okay? So I'm going to take you out to the VA's website, and let's get into it. Okay, so here we go. And I have this link for you in the description section, okay? So you don't have to worry about it. Just go to the description section, click on it, and you can read it uh, for yourself as well. So it states, more service members eligible for benefits after VA amends character of discharge barriers. This came out October 1st. Don't get on to me. I'm a little, I'm a little bit late, all right? So it states, VA has implemented a new regulation, <clears throat> excuse me, regarding character of discharge determinations, COD letters, allowing more former service members to become eligible for VA benefits regardless of their military discharge, okay? Now, they said implement a new regulation. I went through the M21-1 and I did not see anything, but I will keep an eye out and bring you any updates, okay? So it says, generally to receive VA benefits and services, a former service member character of discharge must be under other than dishonorable conditions, honorable under honorable conditions or general. I'm going to show you M21 manual reference on that so you can have it for your records if you fall in this category, okay? <clears throat> they go on to say, however, while VA cannot change the discharge status provided by the Department of Defense, DOT, VA is required to make a determination on eligibility for benefits for all individuals who received a dishonorable discharge, okay? Now, <clears throat> excuse me, let's go back to that. I did a previous video where I talked about disability discharge. Make sure you go and watch that because the VA has a link where you could complete a form, send it to your branch, and possibly get your discharge upgraded. And if they upgrade it, you should receive a DD-215, and then you can use that to reapply for benefits under the VA. But in the meantime, depending on the type of discharge, you could possibly use this to get benefits 
compensation benefits in the meantime. Okay. So understanding VA benefits and character of discharge. Okay. A little small paragraph. When VA receives a claim from a former service member, it reviews a character of discharge to determine if they meet basic requirements to be eligible for VA benefits. They do that. Okay. That is a step that, trust me, they do not miss. And it's the VSRs that do that development. Okay. What are the new changes? Here we go. We're about to get into it. Okay. The new regulation expands access to care and benefits. So not only on v VHA side, but VBA for certain former service members, certain, not all. Okay. By eliminating the regulatory bar for the homosexual acts involving aggravating circumstances or other factors affecting the performance of duty. Now, if you fall in that category, you'll see here in a minute, the VA is saying, hey, submit that 0995, come back in, okay? Defining the circumstances under which the willful and persistent misconduct bar will apply. So if you apply for benefits before, you should have received a COD, character of discharge, okay? So look through that letter again, and they should break it down, and you should see if you meet any of these three here, okay? Creating compelling circumstances, exceptions for the statutory bar of absent without leave, AWOL of 180 days or more. Now, also, it might be a good idea to search the M21-1 for homosexual acts, okay? Willful and persistent misconduct. I would just type in the word willful, okay? And see what comes up for it. And then the AWOL, A-W-O-L, okay? Those three particular situations are what they're talking about. So you can go out there and get more information and look for the regulation because they could have updated it already. OK, let's keep going. So it says these changes make the character discharge process more objective and lead to more consistent adjudication of claims. OK, so it's the more we know people. OK, so the VA, again, I'll say it again, they're doing a good job in providing a lot of good information on their website. They're giving a lot of nuggets, maybe not the nuggets like I give you, but they have nuggets out there, okay? And I'm bringing it to you. So if you or you know somebody else, make sure you pass this information on to them, okay? So it says, what do these changes mean for me? This VA character discharge determination does not change the armed forces characterization of service Keep that in mind. So what's on your DD-214, if the VA says, you know what? We're going to upgrade your discharge just to give you benefits. It does not mean it is updated on that DD-214, okay? Like I stated earlier, go out, watch my video on disability discharge, upgrade, and I'll walk you through that, okay? Then that form you can send to your branch, okay? VA claims processors are now processing character discharge determinations with a more objective review. Okay, well, time will tell, all right? VA also invites all former service members who previously received a negative character of discharge determination of VA to submit a 0995. Once received, claims processors will reevaluate the claimant's record using the new guidance. Trust me, I looked and looked and I couldn't find that guidance but I'm going to continue to look. And when I find it, I'll bring it to you, okay? VA encourages former service members who received an unfavorable discharge to apply for VA care and benefits today. Now, it may not be a bad idea to reference this particular article, okay? Um, and maybe put it in a link in your personal statement, okay? Because it's on their website, okay? But they should have gotten some training uh, since this article came out, at least I hope they did. Okay. So let me share with you this. Uh, let me change the view so we can. Okay. There we go. So, what this is, this is M21 1. Discharges that generally, generally require a COD determination. So, they talked about it in the article character of discharge. So it says the following service department discharge characterizations require a COD determination other than honorable. 
bad conduct, discharge, dismissal, and, excuse me, and dishonorable, okay? So there was three bullet comments on that um, article I just showed you. So if you fall in any one of those three categories and you receive one of these discharges with the VA saying, hey, come back in, submit that 0995, and we'll take another look at it, okay? The following uncharacterized separation will also require a character of discharge determination, void enlistment or induction or drop from roles, okay? So very straightforward there, okay? You know what type of discharge you receive. And if you ever apply for benefits through the VA, you received a character of discharge. I hope you kept that letter. If you did not, don't worry about it. If you don't have your VA claims file, I got a video for you. How to download documents from the VA's website. You go there, watch that video, you log in, and you have to go through all the information that the VA has ever sent you. And that COD, character of discharge, should be there. Go to the VA's website, the 0995. Now, keep in mind, whatever conditions that you filed previously and you're going to come back in and reopen they still have to fall under the five ways of service connection. They got to go through that process, okay? So with that being said, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and as always, share this video with your fellow veterans. Thank you.